Hey fam, glad to have you here and welcome to what I hope will be a normal routine. I I'm, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the camera weirdly. <laughs> you have to forgive me. I'm doing this more face to face so I'm using my phone so it's a little bit it's a little bit weird, but you'll have to forgive me. So I I'm doing this as like a review as to why I chose the game that I did and what I actually got out of it because I wanted to share that with you guys as part of uh, this new year and what I wanted to do content wise. So recently I just finished Resident Evil 3. Uh, it's the remake version. I think originally it was called Resident Evil Nemesis. But anyway, awesome game by the way. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. It was super scary at times, and it it had my heart pumping. <laughs> oh shit! Oh god, that scared me actually. So some people ask me why Resident Evil Three. Well, a lot of it has to do with the whole series, whole thing as a series. I got big into it when I played Resident Evil Seven on the channel. That was so much fun. I can't wait. Resident Evil Village is, or Village is supposed to come out, the eighth one. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. it it's uh, it's going to be so much fun. The stories have been super interesting so far. And, and it was fun to go back and see the games that, ha that made the series what it is today. It was good to see how they remade them. And, like, I, c I didn't get stuck in the bad graphics. And, like, I, I could enjoy it without having to, like, read everything to everybody because speaking sometimes is like it, I don't know it just it gets old and my tongue gets dry etc anyway um I really enjoyed do, doing Resident Evil 3 specifically because it it was scary oh my fucking god what is that oh fuck this shit Oh, fuck, are you serious? So, you guys got a laugh out of it. Or you guys got to uh, take on this journey with me and get scared with me. Or how, help me, like, cheer me on as I'm fighting this boss. You, you have to realize that there was just, there was so much going on. It, it was, it was, it was stressful, but it was good stress. And it was great to be able to face my fears and to accomplish it. It gives me a little bit more courage and lets me know that, hey, I can do it here and I can apply it in my real life. If I keep going and I keep trying, I can accomplish stuff. And that's what I really like about it, especially in horror games. Not to mention it's so much fun to, like, uh, to do crazy stuff and try and survive and not like scream my head off. <laughs> I didn't like that the story was short, but I liked the fact that you didn't have to replay it like the second one to get the full story. Don't get me wrong, the second one was really good. And I enjoyed it that there was some stuff that changed like enemy locations and stuff. I, I was surprised. We had a whole nother section on Claire's side, but it was it was a little bit boring on the parts that we we actually had to do the same except for there was there was some variation so i will give you that resident evil 2 i enjoyed it. it i think it was way scarier than resident evil 3 but i don't like the fact that you had to play claire's side on top of leon's side it was the same story, basically. I mean, there was some difference, don't get me wrong, but... I, I did like that Jill's was pretty much jumping back and forth between... Hers and Carlos's story. Oh, and no, they kind of tied together at the end. I'm really looking forward to Resident Evil 8 Villages. Or Village, I can't think of it. I can't wait to see what they do. Because Resident Evil 7 was the scariest one. I, I kid you not, that one freaked me out. Two had so much story depth, it was great. Three, 
so much action. Like, I enjoyed that. I did. I felt like I was assaulting, like, a monster from hell. <laughs> Which was great. It was fun. But at the same time, I was running and couldn't think of what to do. <laughs> Man, Nemesis, four or five changes. Oh my gosh, those forms are awful. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Except for at the end when you get the railgun. Oh, that was beautiful. The ending was great. But anyway, guys, that's my review and what I thought of it and what I actually got out of it, guys. I can't wait to show you Resident Evil 8 Village when it comes out. Join me then, guys, and I'll catch y'all later.